All right, so we got a question on how to actually track the cryptocurrency and Bitcoin price. So I recommend using the website coingecko.com. There are probably other uh, websites like CoinMarketCap and other ways to track it, but me personally, I use CoinGecko. Uh, this allows me to track it on a day-by-day -day basis and it gives a whole overview of the entire cryptocurrency market. So today's an interesting day. Uh, Bitcoin right now, this is November 5th and it's actually reached its all-time high for the year. Uh, so right here, you can see this list shows all the different various cryptocurrencies. Let's just go ahead and focus on Bitcoin itself. Uh, so you can see the price right here is what it is right now, uh, aggregated across all of the different exchanges. Here, you can see its uh, percentage increase in performance during the past one hour, 24 hours, and seven days. Um, if you're curious to see, uh, I guess, how each of these cryptocurrencies trend, you could always click, like say, what cryptocurrency increased most in the past 24 hours, you can click here, and it will sort it, and you'll see this weird cryptocurrency called ThorChain. But no worries, let's focus on uh, Bitcoin again. And Bitcoin is always going to have uh, the top market cap. So if you ever do any sorting, um, you can quickly press back the market cap here and it'll sort from highest to lowest. Right now, you can see the market cap of Bitcoin is $282 billion. Um, I'll probably talk about market cap in a different video, but uh, we're tracking the price of Bitcoin. Um, if you want to see more details, you can uh, click on the chart here. And uh, looking over here, you can see the graph uh, for how the price has been trending. So in the past, uh, what's this time frame right here? So I guess this time frame here is the 24 hours. You'll see that it went from a price of around 14K all the way up to 15.2K. Uh, um, but if we wanted to, I think we can change, oh, here we go. We can change uh, the graph and then you can see in the past 30 days, it's went from 10.7K all the way up to uh, the price where it is now. Uh, but essentially you have these different uh, times, um, uh, time ranges that you can choose. Uh, and if you wanted to, you can look at this uh, max view and then see the price of Bitcoin ever since it's uh, uh, beginning. Well, it says 2013 right here, but I think it started back in 2008 or nine. Uh, so it doesn't have all of the data, but this is good enough. You can see that um, early on, uh, in 2013 it was $130 and peaked over here uh, where it was up to 19k um, and uh, where it is now today so yes uh, you can use coin gecko to track uh, the price of Bitcoin um, this is the uh, website version but uh, there's also an app version I know most people are on their phones all the time, so I just recommend downloading the app. Um, funny thing with CoinGecko is uh, the app, uh, you can have it on your phone. Uh, it will look something like this. So very similar view here. If you wanted more details, you can click onto it. Um, I would say uh, you can ignore the buy cryptocurrency. Um, but other funny thing is uh, they've got these little uh, candies uh, that you can collect every day. Uh, so it's kind of like a, an incentive to check the price every day, but then you can collect them and then you can uh, trade it in for uh, rewards later on. I don't know uh, if there's any meaningful rewards. Looks like there's this book that you can buy on DeFi, which if you're a beginner, you probably won't know much about DeFi, but uh, if you become a bit more into this cryptocurrency world, you'll learn about the premise of DeFi, which stands for Decentralized Finance. Um, but uh, yeah, just this little neat thing I uh, wanted to sh uh, share with you guys. You have to create an account. Um, this is a cryptocurrency tracking app, so maybe one day these candies will be converted into a CoinGecko cryptocurrency. Who knows? Um, but the other thing that I wanted to share in this app is that you can actually build your portfolio. Uh, when I say build, 
uh, mean more so tracking it. So you could, um, if you wanted a way to track all the different cryptocurrencies you purchase, you could use this CoinGecko app to create your portfolio. I think all you have to do here is push this plus sign, put in a coin. Let's say that um, I want to add Ethereum to my portfolio. Um, choose Ethereum. Uh, I think I need to make it one of my favorites. All right, maybe you don't need to, but moving off of this, uh, you can see that I am showing Ethereum in the portfolio now. I've actually not done much on it. So let's say that, uh, actually I think we just clicked here, add price alerts. Nope, maybe I should, oh, here we go, my holdings. So there we go. My holdings is where you'd want to go to start building up your portfolio. So let's just say that uh, uh, you bought five Ethereum today. Uh, just submit that, add that transaction. Uh, you can probably get very granular and put in the fees and whatnot, but I'm just showing this as an example. So it's saved. And then now you will see that uh, this portfolio says I have five Ethereum. Um, I'm just gonna add Bitcoin. Let's say that I have 0.2 Bitcoin. I'll just save that transaction. So now you will see that uh, my cryptocurrency portfolio consists of uh, these two coins with 0.2 Bitcoin and five Ethereum, and it totals $5,000 today. Uh, this would be good for tracking your own personal portfolio. So uh, do with it what you want, uh, just showing that you can use and manage a portfolio via CoinGecko. Um, there are definitely other uh, portfolio tracking apps um, uh, for good security practices. I recommend if you do put in a portfolio uh, and you want to be secure about it, make sure the app can be password protected, which I am honestly not sure if you can do that here. But uh, maybe you guys can find that out. But all right, I uh, want to keep this short wrap up here. So hopefully this was helpful. Um, thank you and see you next time.